Welcome to 10 Minutes. I'm Tony Scott. This week's show is brought to you by Gentry Academy. Today we will talk with Joe Jensen and Billy Hengen, the new hockey directors for the Gentry Academy Galaxy. The new hockey team is set to start next year at the school. Before we bring those two into the studio, I want to congratulate all the nominees for our year-end awards. Choosing the winners is a very tough task, something we take very seriously. But at the end of the day, being nominated is just as big a deal as winning the award. Watch our Twitter feed for the exact date and time on when the winners will be announced. Likely a week or so clear of everyone's spring break. This past weekend, we, were, we spent time in Detroit following the 11 Minnesota-born players in their 2000s birth year in their quest to make the U.S. national development team. The experience for the boys is likely something they will never forget. Meeting, training, and competing against the best kids of their age, all under the watchful eye of USA Hockey bigwigs and top division one brass, what a great experience. This week we'll be posting our pick of the year photos all week. The photo with the most likes will be announced in our award show in April. We're joined today with Billy Hengen and Joe Jensen from the brand new Gentry Academy Galaxy. Thanks for joining me today on the show. Thanks for having us. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the questions. A lot of the questions popping up to me around, around the rink are, is the Galaxy gonna be a USA hockey sanctioned team, tier one type of hockey team? Yes, so Gentry Galaxy will be Minnesota hockey and USA hockey sanctioned. We'll play against other USA hockey sanctioned teams from across North America. So you'll travel a few weekends to go play against teams like that and then those teams will travel and play in events with you guys here too, right? Exactly. So we'll head out to tournaments such as Bauer, Bauer World that's Invite. In no, that's in November. Yep. In uh, Chicago, the Warrior. Event. Absolutely. The Warrior Invitational. That's in Detroit, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Those are all great events. I've followed both of them intently this past year so I can't wait to see our Minnesota boys to see how they can stack up against yeah. the rest of the country. There'll be great teams out there. Um, and then uh, the Super Series AAA uh, has a series of tournaments. I've heard of those guys. So. I've heard of those guys. I yeah. work with, obviously, we work, uh, YHH works with Super Series on our big production called The Show, and you guys coached in the Bricks, so you kind of know it's the year after, it's a year after yeah. tournament. It's a great group of kids that come from all over the country. Uh, you guys coached the Brick, you know what that's all about. Mm -hmm. You've seen it, you've seen that side of the world, and you'll see more of it next year. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the advantages of playing Tier 1 versus the, the, um, the, the traditional community-based system here we have in Minnesota. So the advantages of playing Tier 1 schedule is you play against your own birth year. Right. So, for example, with Bantams and Pee Wees, you may have a 23-month spread on the players. Yeah. So you have some young guys, old guys, you know, guys who've Especially grown quickly. Especially in those quickly. puberty years, it gets really sticky. I think the 05s, 06s, not a big difference, but 02s to 03s or 03s to 04s, we're talking men and boys. Exactly. Right? So you get the different spread of these kids. And when you play against your own birth year, uh, that model really works well for the development side. And so you take the 03s and you go play against Bell Tire 03 or Honey Baked 03. So that's what we'll be doing with the Gentry Galaxy teams. We'll be playing birth year. Um, against the other top tier one teams. And I saw on the website you got some pretty cool swag, cool uniforms. That's all of it. That's part of it, right? Absolutely. Great jerseys, I which like is super it. important. I like it. It's very important. It's very important. All right, Joe, talk a little bit about the relationship between the Galaxy, which is kind of an evening program for the school, but it's, there's still a real tight relationship with the school as well. Talk a little bit about that. So the Galaxy, all the players will be skating with Joe Dizek in uh, the mornings. During school. During school, during the wind time. And so they'll be skating with Joe during the afternoon and then we will take them at night for the 2003 birth year team. Okay, and then you guys are also the hockey directors too, so you will oversee all the boys hockey teams that are involved with the Galaxy, correct? Yeah, we'll be helping assist teams, uh, picking the teams, uh, tryouts and things like that. That's exciting. Very exciting. Okay, so there's going to be some shadow days, a shadow day coming up next or this week uh, on the 23rd. Talk a little bit about that and what your guys' involvement is going to be with that. So we'll have, uh, we'll have a bunch of players and families come in and uh, see how we do things at Gentry and uh, kind of get in front of them and tell them what we're all about and uh, just talk about the excitement about the new, uh, the new Galaxy. All right, so after the Galaxy, there's also going to be an open house. Billy, tell me a little bit about when that's going to be and what the open house will be will serve. Sure. So the Shadow the Day scenes. will be March 23rd. Yep. And that's for players to come get on the ice. And we have a Shadow tab, tab on GentryAcademy.com okay. that they can go, the players can go to. Um, and then the open house will be April 12th and April 13th at uh, the Gradient Center where uh, we'll do a presentation. And okay. uh, parents and kids can come in 
and we'll do a presentation for them. They can ask questions and meet the staff. Get all the questions answered that they're not getting answered and the whispers are around the rink, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. There'll I be a lot of questions I can't tell you how many people ask me questions. I'm like, just go watch the show. All the questions are answered there. If they don't get the answered there, go to the website. The, an the website usually answers all well, the questions. Well, right? it's an exciting thing, and I think it's, it's new and unique what we're doing. I think people are going to uh, have a lot of interest and be curious and have a lot of questions for us. I always tell people, like, oh, it's just like a prep school in the Twin Cities that's going to play Tier 1 hockey. Have you heard of one that's in the south of the Twin yeah. Cities that does the same thing? <laughs> that's why I try to explain it to people. Like, Oh, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's yep. a nice way to put it, yep. right? Exactly. All right, so we're going to put you on the teleprompter now. You ready? All right, Joe, let's have it. And then Billy goes next. Today's Tommy Chicago trivia is a tough one. You're going to have to dig very around tough, some very old tough. programs to figure this one out. Last week, Osseo Maple Grove won the state Pee Wee AA title. Congrats to our guy, Brandon Reller. Their first Pee Wee A title since 1995. On the 95 team, the only player from OMGHA to ever play in the NHL was on that team. If you can name him, send him in to email on youthhockeyhub at gmail.com. Nice work. Nice work. All right, Billy, you ready to roll? Absolutely. We spent so much time with the state high school and youth the last few weeks, we neglected our now prospects. Here are a few tidbits. Next season marks the first year we'll have a full class of prospects, eighth grade through seniors. Today we'll add a class of 2017 defensemen. But before we do, we must first congratulate 2001 USA Now prospect Michael Mancinelli from Detroit Copyware. He committed to North Dakota last week. The first commitment for the Fighting Hawks 2019 class. Michael is eye candy on skates, skates well, sees the ice well, and piles up the points. After a long season, it's time to start adding some players to our database who had great seasons. In the 2017 class, we added Jesse Bugstead from Stillwater. Jesse is a great two-way defender with a wicked shot, just like his dad Scott had. Minnesota 2019, Tim Piowski, who we coached, from Eden Prairie, caught our eye at the Blue Ox to start the year, and we could not stop watching at State all the way through the end of the season. He was just added. And 2020 prospect Shane Griffin from Lakeville North. He is a human wrecking ball. Great size, strength, and ability. He was a force this year for the Panthers, Bantam AA team. Awesome. Nice work. Thanks. Threw that Ma Michael Mancinelli uh, in there. That's a hard one to read. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard one to spell out every time, too. All right, it's time to hand out some game pucks. I'm going to hand the pucks off to you first. This is the uh, lots and lots of game pucks. I'm going to go around the horn. I think I know yours are. Whatever you don't take, I got a couple in, in my awesome. bag. So go ahead, Billy. Go, you go first. Awesome. All right, the lots and lots of game puck. Today goes to one of the best looking coaches in the state. He's great shape, Mankato State goalie coach, and we got him now at Gentry Galaxy, Brennan Potterze. Nice, nice. All right. The lots and lots of player of the game for me is the Bantam AA Minnetonka State Championship. Another very good looking guy in great very, shape. You threw me off. Yeah, very good looking. All right. Brian Murphy, and you may know him from his dance video that's been circulating the Michael Jackson moves. So it's great amazing. dancer He's and amazing. congratulations, Brian. All right, you guys are going to have to help me with the pronunciation of this one. So I'm going to throw my game puck out to your guys' former assistant, Nico. Come on, throw it out there. Kapitanovic. Kapitanovic. Vic. Okay, sorry about that. Nico is another one of those Hot, uh, up and coming, rising young coaches. You guys coach Absolutely. with them. You know, Nico's just a great guy. So, my puck goes out to Nico. What a great season he put together, his team leading him to state. Uh, and I look forward to big things to come for him and his involvement over at Eden Prairie. Absolutely. So, you guys, thanks for joining me on the show. We did it in the first take. We're, we're, uh, we're real hockey players, aren't we? Thanks for Absolutely. having us, buddy. Anyways, right. Tony. Have a good night.